hello guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so it is updated solution for this lab and this lab is little bit tricky so i request to please pay attention while completing this lab so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here click on the checkbox and then just simply click on agree and continue now just simply come back to the lab instructions click on the task number one now here you can see this link so just simply open this link in incognito window like this way now just simply wait now here you can see configuration just me click over here and then just me click on this create template over here like this way now here please pay attention over here first of all watch the thing what i'm doing and after that perform your task okay now here you can see template type just me click over here and from here just me choose de-identify over here like this way okay now for the data transformation type it must be info type because if you come back to the lab instructions and if you just me scroll down and from the point number four of the task number one you can see it must be de-identify and the transformation type must be info type okay now for the template id copy this thing come back over here and just paste over here and make sure that there is no extra space after equal to now again just me copy the display name so just me copy this thing come back over here and just me paste over here like this way now here you can see location type if you come back over here and from here you can see it must be global and any region so it's already chosen for me so i'm not going to make any changes but in future if you are able to find a different region over here or a different zone over here that time we have to just simply choose accordingly that okay so now we are done with all this part now just me click on this continue over here like this way now for the transformation method just me click over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see replace with info type because if you come back to the lab instructions and if you just scroll down and from this screenshot you can see it must be replaced with info type so we already choose that okay once you're done with all this configuration now just simply pause the video complete your task and then just simply click on this create over here now if you just come back over here and scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue one more thing after waiting for more than two minutes over here if you still not able to get a green thing that means you haven't performed the task accordingly that okay so we are done with the point number one now what you do we have to just create a structured data okay now again just come back over here scroll down over here and from where you can see data loss prevention just me click over here again just me click on this configurations again just me click on this create template over here now first time what here choose we have choose a de-identification so just me choose that okay now for the data transformation method first time we have choose the info type now we are going to choose record over here because if you come back over here and if you just scroll down and from here you can see we have to choose that now again just me copy this template id copy like this come back over here and just paste over here again make sure that there is no extra space after equal to now just me copy this display name over here copy like this come back over here and just me paste over here like this way now again just me check the region so as you can see it must be global and any region so we are not going to make any changes again i am saying in future if you are able to find a different region over here that time we have to just choose accordingly that so we are done with all this point okay now just me scroll down click on this continue over here now what we do we have to add some fields over here so just me come back over here now just me copy all this field at one time so just me copy this come back over here and just me paste over here like this way then copy the second paste then copy this third paste then copy this fourth win then just be paste then copy this id over here and paste over here then you copy this agent id and paste over here and then copy this user id and paste over here make sure that your page must look like this okay now here you can see transformation method i know most of you guys are going to make a mistake over here please pay attention over here first time what you do it must be the primitive field okay now just me click on this is a first transformation rule okay now just me click over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see replace okay so just me choose that because if you come back over here and from here you can see it must be replaced okay so this is a first transformation rule now what you do once you're done with this thing then just me click on this add transformation rule over here again now for the second field what you do you have to choose the message over here so just me copy that and just me paste over here like this way now for the second transformation rule it must be match or info type just simply choose that because if you come back over here and if you just check this screenshot you can see it must be match or info type now for the transformation method it must be replaced with info type name so just me scroll down click on this add transformation scroll down 
just me click over here and from here just me choose a replace with info type i hope i'm clear over here once you're done with all this configuration now if you just me click on this create over here just me wait and it's done now if you just me come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a green tick over here without any issue again i am saying after waiting for more than two minutes if you still not able to get a green tick over here that means you didn't perform this task correctly okay now task number two is little bit tricky so i request you please pay attention just me come back over here again just me scroll down now here you can see data loss prevention again just me click over here now this time instead of clicking on configuration we have to just me click on this inception over here just me click over here then just me click on this create a job over here like this way now for the job id come back over here from here just me copy this job id copy like this do not copy this last full stop just me copy this come back over here and paste now here please pay attention you can see location type so for me it's chosen as us but if you come back over here and from here you can see it must be global over here so that's the reason just me click over here scroll down and from here just me choose a global over here make sure of that thing but in future again i'm saying if you are able to find a different region or any specific region then you have to just choose that okay now just me scroll down now for the storage type just me click over here and it must be google cloud storage like this way now here you can see location type if you come back over here if you just me scroll down and from here you can see location type from this screenshot i'm saying you can see it must be scan a bucket with optional include and exclude rule so just me click over here and from here just me choose that like this way now for the bucket name just me scroll up over here and from here you can see this name so just me copy that and paste over here like this way now if you just me click over here you can see you get a green tick over here okay that means you paste the bucket name correctly if you are in any extra space that means you will get an error okay now just me scroll down from here just me 100 over here like this way now for the sampling it must be no sampling over here like this way now once you're done with this you can see we are done with all this portion now what you do just me scroll down click on this continue over here scroll down continue over here now here you can see add action just me scroll down and from here you can see make a de-identify copy just me turn on this toggle now here please pay attention for the de-identify template just me copy this thing carefully copy that and just me paste over here like this way and if you just me click over here you are able to get that so just me click that now if you just me click on the structure over here again just me copy this thing you can just me copy that or you can just me click over here if you just me click that you are able to get if you are not able to find that then time you can just me copy from here and just me paste over here like this way once you're done with all these things now what we do we have to give the url for that just me scroll down and from here you can see cloud storage output location so just me copy this come back over here and just paste over here again i'm saying make sure that you have done all this configuration as i explained over here once you're done with that scroll down click on this continue over here now here you can see time span just me click over here from here just me choose to create a trigger like this way and for the trigger scan it must be weekly because if you come back over here and from here you can see it mentioned over here now just me scroll down click on this continue over here scroll down little bit and then just me click on this create wait for a second and then just me click on this confirm and create now just me wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now if you just me come back over here and scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a green tick over here without any issue and again i'm saying after waiting for more than two minutes if you still not able to get a green tick that means you have make a mistake on the particular task okay and as you can see we got a green tick and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys